From this townhouse, TV chef and entrepreneur Ntabi Seng Nti Ramaboa writes cookbooks, runs her African Restaurant of the Year, and fills our imaginations with color, aroma, and life. Hi, the Insider SA. Welcome to our humble abode. My name is Jeff and T, and Rochi and I are very excited to be hosting you. We're going to take you through our home and show you some of our special little corners. But most importantly, I'm going to be in the kitchen. I'll be whipping up something special, something amazing, and I'm super excited. Okay, so now we are in my main space. This is like the TV area. It's part of the downstairs open plan area, which is kitchen, dining, and TV. This is where I spend most of my time because of the fact that most of the things that I love are here. I sit here and I appreciate all this beautiful artwork on the wall. And this is my corner <laughs> where Ricky's sitting. I sit and have a cup of tea there every morning. And I've got my vinyls. You can see my vinyl player, so half the time you find me on the floor in the morning and play something special while I sip on my tea. I love music. I mean, I grew up in a family that was big on music. Also, we wake up on a Sunday, there's music playing. When I'm feeling nostalgic, I go and play me some Isaac Hayes. I want to show you. Kefa Semenya. My collection started with this one. Like before any of these vinyls were here, this was my first one. So 2013, when things were going south for me and I decided to close all my businesses, I then decided to focus on curating art while I find my feet. I didn't know I was going to be a chef at the time and hence most of my work was in 2013. I then went to LA. I took my rookie, went to LA and the plan was to start over there. So we decided to sell artwork as a form of income because dollar rent exchange rate is everything. So I then went to culinary school and started from scratch. I was broke, broke, broke. I had nothing. All I had was this, my artwork. And now we are in my happy space, the kitchen. This is where I spend most of my time. Literally, I wake up in the morning and I head straight to the kitchen. I make like a hot meal. I wake up and i would be dreaming about what I'm making the next day. I love the kitchen because it's cozy, especially the way the space is laid out, as you can see. The space to cook, but also a space to entertain. And it separates the cooking part and this middle aisle. This is where I entertain. If I have friends coming over, they chill right here. My favorite part is the bar. <laughs> so when I'm entertaining, people chill outside and I am cooking and I've got treats for them and they just grab them from that side. Or when I'm shooting my content because I also like to shoot content for social media. Okay, and then I have also like a mini bar situation that I created for myself. But first I want to speak about the artwork. It's one of my favorite pieces in the house. There's only 10 of these works and I was lucky to get number seven of 10. And then upstairs, another one of my favorite pieces in the house. If you look up there, so this is a boy from Malawi. How beautiful. Okay, so this is like the chef and tea office where the magic happens. I still have some artwork on my wall. That one is by an artist. He did Mandela's portrait. And this is a portrait from my cookbook. And this is it. I'm very proud of it. On that wall there, it's just a celebration of everything that I did. Amongst all the glory, I mean, I like to keep it real because you know, so these are my family members. Family is important. I mean, family for me means people that will always hold you accountable. People that will keep you grounded in a sense that, especially in my industry, you know, you do so much and you forget. So these are people that remind you of the basic things in life that matter. And this is my mom. 
Okay, so let's go and see my bedroom. <laughs> I am very minimalistic. I love less, no clutter. If you look at my space with the bed, I had this custom made. I wanted like a day bed. The artwork on the wall, as you can see, it's love. These are prints by a Brazilian artist. I'm all about love. So in this space is just love. Love happens here. My favorite thing is that doggy lampshade <laughs> because we love doggies. And this is my bed with Rocky, guys. Ne? This is where we sleep, him and I. Okay, enough of the house. Now I'm going to go downstairs and make a meal because I have a friend coming in a few moments. <laughs> okay, now we are in my happy place the kitchen i mean imagine coming to my house and i let you leave without showing you what i'm famous for oh that would be injustice so i'm making fish my favorite king clip i like that it's femme textured and we are going to serve it with a roasted red pepper sauce so these peppers are going to go into the oven at 180 degrees and i'm going to roast them for about 30 minutes Okay, so now I'm getting ready to prep my salad. As you can see, I've got zucchinis, baby marrows. I am going to make them with some nuts and a really delicious dressing as a side to our dish. I'm going to soak these in lemon and olive oil for about 10 minutes. And then we're going to toast some macadamia nuts. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit there and rest and cure while I clean. Clean as you go. We are making the base of our king clip. So those are butter beans, a bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper to taste, and a clove of garlic. In it goes, and we're taking this to a food processor. We blitz it until we get a very super smooth consistency. Okay, we're gonna taste because with food, you wanna taste as you go, you know? Mm, perfect and perfectly seasoned. We make our salad dressing, one part vinegar, three parts oil. This is sesame seeds made into a paste, and then some honey, always salt and pepper. And give it a shake. And what we call this is a tahini dressing. Now we make the star of this entire meal, a king clip. Okay, so I've got my butter. I have my olive oil, I have capers, and a bit of thyme, obviously garlic. And now I'm going in with my king clip, skin side down all the time. So we're going to cook this for like three minutes on each side. And we are good to serve. I know Candace is on her way, so I'm really excited that she arrives when the meal is done. But really, this recipe I'm making is something you can make with your guests here. It's very easy, very quick, but very satisfying. Rocky agrees. He says, yes, mama, yes. Okay, so this is us. I have made us the most delicious, refreshing, and nutritionally packed meal for summer. And I hope Candice enjoys this. It's a guilt-free meal. Hi, I am Candice Agostoni, and I am so blessed to know Chef. We met, uh, met each other really organically, actually, through social media, and her passion for all things beautiful in the interior space. I'm a huge foodie, so we naturally connected. And soon after that, we found out that we actually live 500 meters from one another. So it's really been an organic relationship and it's been so awesome to come and spend time in her home today and see these beautiful curtains that we collaborated on. I love that Chef and T is so passionate about so many different things. Her creativity around interiors is clear to see by the beautiful, beautiful home that she has. And I love that she's so passionate about making beautiful food for other people and inviting them into her home and making them feel special. 
So what you can expect from me in the near future is my second cookbook. That's the first thing. I've been working on that for most of 2023. I'm launching in 2024. And of course, my Abuja restaurant, I launched it in December, December of 2023. And uh, you are definitely going to hear about it. Here's to more African entrepreneurs looking within the continent for growth and opportunity. In every enterprise, we are stronger together.